All right, guys, we are just rolling up to Ocanto Boat Launch. Now, here's, here's the current situation. It's like beautiful day, 50 degrees, mid-April, just pounded the walleyes up in the Menominee River. But what happens is you get some rain and really warm temps and all these fish go into spawning mode. And that can actually be a bad thing for about three to five days because all those big females start spawning and they just stop biting. So the reports I'm getting right now is a lot of males. The bite was great last week. We'll see what happens today. We're gonna go give her a shot with my man, Tony, who's running the camera. Really the goal is just to try to catch a couple big walleyes out here. We're gonna try to go out in Ocano, throw some rip and wraps, hair jigs, jigging a minnow, paddle tail, whatever it takes to catch them. Tony, you think we're gonna catch them? I hope so. I don't think we're gonna catch them, Tony. I don't even think we're gonna get a video. Well, don't but, say that. They're well, seeing I, this if I, we I, catch I, them. I, yeah, we'll, we'll see. If, if this video's on YouTube, that means we caught them. Otherwise, well, me and Tony, we're just gonna go to the park, go on the swing set over there, and just, you know, blow up some balloons and just, you know, make sand castles and all the normal stuff we do on our days off. All right, guys, we made it out on the bay today. Just talked to my buddy, Kurt, who's guiding out here, and Brett. And uh, the water temps right now are 42 degrees. And 42 degrees is usually that magical number when the walleyes actually start spawning. So believe it or not, if you want to catch a big, fat walleye, you want to try to get up here right at ice out. And this year, ice out is way later. It's uh, basically mid-April right now, and the fish are spawning right now the next couple of days. So I honestly don't think we're gonna do that well. So I'll be happy if we just catch one or two big ones and a few fish today. Everyone we've been talking to, zero, one, two fish. So hopefully we got clouds coming in this afternoon. We're gonna fish for maybe five or six hours. We're gonna cruise around. And the one thing I do when I first get up here to Green Bay, and you know, I've got a bunch of waypoints I'll show you here, up and down here, right? So when I mark big schools of fish here, I'll kind of mark a waypoint. Then I turn my side imaging on and I really just start driving around and I'm looking. I'll side image out 90 feet left, 90 feet right, and I'm just looking for fish. When I, little pods of fish, you know, like here's a single fish, here's a single fish. But when I start marking fish on my left, fish on my right, I'll put the trolling motor down and Tony and I, we're gonna start casting whatever it takes to hopefully catch them. Hair jig, um, rip and wrap, paddle tail we got a jig in the middle i don't know we'll see what happens we're just trying to catch a walleye got one Yo. yep Yo. the wall first cast little guy so, yeah i think so i had him on live scope so I'm on live scope, so I'm swimming right up and eat it. Got him. Nope. But I saw him eat it. Decent. Saw him eat it. Toughest time of the year to walleye fish right now when they're spawning. That's what you get right there. Males, lots of males. Be really happy if I can get a female. But again, just using live scope, making 30, 40 foot casts. The big thing is, guys, if you're going to use live scope when you come out here and fish, you kind of want to be in hunting mode. What I mean, hunting mode is not fishing. Yeah, you can go ahead and fish. I always like to have one or two guys casting in the boat. But I also want to tell you, you want to be ready. You want to reel up. Have your bail open, sit like this, have your jig ready, and scan, scan, scan. Oh, there's one, you cast. You don't get them, you reel in, and you wait, and you hunt, hunt, hunt. Because if you're fishing, and you see a fish, you gotta reel in, and the fish are swimming, the fish are moving, and it all happens quick. So be in hunting mode, and you can catch them. All right, guys, so check it out. There's the hot bait right there, under tough, tough finesse conditions. Sometimes you gotta go with blade bait, 
Sometimes you got to go rattle bait like a rip and wrap. Sometimes you got to go jig in a minnow and the hair jig. Don't if you haven't tried the hair jig, the good old Mississippi hair jig, purple, purple and chartreuse. That is a staple out here in Green Bay. My partner Brett Alexander, he turned me on to these things. Thank you, Brett, because they catch fish. They look like they look weird as heck, but the hair jig. Try it. That's a quarter ounce hair jig right there. There he is. That's a walleye. Not good, but decent. There's a walleye. A little male. He ain't bad, dude. He ain't bad. We'll take him. Not bad, yeah. Right? Yeah, baby. Be out here catching them on the hair jig. Guys, when the bite gets super tough, I'm telling you, and, and it's not something that I figured out. You know, honestly, one thing I cannot stand is when you learn something from someone in the fishing industry, and then you go out and do a video and you don't give the credit where the credit's due. Now, I'm sure Brett didn't figure out the hair jig bite, but my tournament partner, Brett, did give me these hair jigs and did turn me on to them. And they have that stinger hook. See that? See where that fish is hooked right there, that stinger hook? That's a female, nice green bay, naturally reproducing, a lot of them are, naturally reproducing wallies, and they're spawning right now. So I'm gonna get this fish unhooked and get her back. See you later, mama. Meet down, beat down, smack down, crack down. I thought the bite was really gonna be tough. What, what, and then here's the important thing to remember, like, when I'm coming out here, guys, two things when I'm hunting down any sort of fish. You're at your best advantage if you can drift with the wind because that trolling motor makes noise. So if you go into the wind, you're gonna spook the fish faster. So if you can just drift over them and then make your fan cast. I have my live scope set for about 80 feet and I'm just, again, hunting, hunting and waiting. The rod's in my hand. I'm not fan casting. I'm just looking and hunting down fish. And when I see them, I cast to that individual fish or the school fish. Right there, right there. That's what I think he's ever Oh, yeah. Yes. Told you. That's a good one too, dude. That's a good one. Hell yeah. He crushed it. Hell yes. Nice, nice fish. Yes, that's what we want, bud. That's what we're after right here. Yes, Tony. Yeah, nice fish. Let's go. Yes, Hell buddy. yeah. Choked it, too. Hell yeah. Yeah. She crushed it. That's yeah. a big one. Yeah, dude. Heck yeah. On a tough bite today, we're talking to guys. You're not catching anything. We'll take it, man. Hair jigging it up, guys. If you've not tried these Mississippi River hair jigs, Crushing let me game. tell you, you're missing out. Look at that, guys. Green and gold. Tony strikes. Hell yeah. That is living proof that this man can catch a fish. Can catch a fish. <laughs> nice work, brother. Let's get the release on this girl. All right, here she goes. That's what we need, buddy. That's Big what we need. Gold. Let's go. Let's go. All right, guys. I came in the back boat just to kind of go over my rig because it is pretty windy out here. Just one of my back of the wind, but using one of our prototype hot rods. This is a medium light power fast action tip. Very nice and sensitive setup, and I'm using 10 pound Power Pro which I think stained my hand. I'm assuming that's what that was. And then a uh, 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. But Eric and I are just getting a bunch of these rods. We're testing a bunch of them out. This is not how they're, this is not gonna be the aesthetic of the rod or anything like that. We're just going over the blanks and just trying to figure out the best rod to get out there for you guys. So that is what we're using.
That's a walleye, for sure. There he is. Huh, right next to him. Yep. Came back in a second. Big perch, big perch, big perch. Yep. Big perch. Big beautiful perch like that. Oh, summertime, I'm coming back to eat you, I promise. <laughs> There he is. Good one. Big and big and big and yeah. yeah. Grab that net, buddy. Not big, just hook. Nice fish, nice fish. Alright. Mama. Mama Sita. Freaking go, Tony. Freaking go. I'm making something out of nothing. That's right, guys. I'm telling you, it's really a tough bite out here right now. Um, I, I'm looking around, I don't really see many fish being caught. So, you know, the, the deal for us has been, I'm gonna throw this fish back, but really the deal is two things, right? We're using the live scope to actually cast at every single fish that you see us catch we we're using live scope to hunt them down and cast to them so if you don't have the forward facing sonar guys honestly it doesn't matter how big your boat is what size your boat is you need to have live scope that has to be your biggest priority so get an extra job selling lemonade ice cream or like tony does drumsticks and crackers on a corner to save your money for a live scope because i guarantee you it is a the biggest game changer I have ever seen in fishing. And that's the proof right there. Get yourself some hair jigs too. The old purple purple. Thank you, Brett Alexandria. Appreciate it, sweetheart. Yeah, 60 feet. You going left? Yeah, you work those other fish. We're all good over here. We're all good over here. That's right. We are all good. All good in the neighborhood. Look at how they're eating this hair you guys. They are just choking it. When you can find the right fish and put it in front of them the right way, they are crushing it. Another male, go back, I'll see you. Oh, 
Those even look like Malai's, maybe. On the drop, on the drop. That's what? a walleye, yep. Good one? Yep. Well, decent. On the drop, though. Oh, yeah. Come here, big girl. Oh, it's a good one. It's a mom. Believe. Yeah. On the stinger, dude. That's how tough the bite is. Yeah. On the oh, stinger, falls off in the net. That's on one of our prototype hot rods, guys. I don't know if Tony's talked to you about it yet, but we're going to be coming out with long rods right now, which is really cool. And I, I would be using it, but I wanted Tony to try it out. One of our prototype hot rods right here. Medium, medium light action. How do you like it so far? I am digging it. That's a really nice point. Hopefully we'll have those rods out for you guys in the next three to four months. We're having them all built right now. Yep, going through the... Walleye the Slayers. Points. We're going to call that the Walleye Slayer Series. I like it. The mama's going back. See ya. That was cool. She hit it on the ball. I think those are perch. Big perch. Yep. Nope. Walleyes. No, not that big. Little male. I'll take it though. Tough bite. You know. Little guy, we'll take him. Little cute guy. Where's your mama? What is that white stuff coming out? Ew, gross. That's a good one, dude. That's the one we want right here. Yup. Stay on, baby. Tough bite, big walleye. Stay on. I got it. Got it? Yup. Come on, stay on. Chunker, bro. Nice male, big male. And again, on the hair jig, guys, the purple hair jig, stinger. How awesome is that? Green and gold right there, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Lots of fun. If you have not tried hair, guys, you have to pull it out in the toe. Oh, there's another fish, big one on the screen. All right, I gotta get this one back. We're gonna keep fishing. Same color I got. Uh, I switched and just put on purple. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, this as soon as I get order and bunch of these. Yeah. And I don't think the color matters that much. No, until you I don't think so either. <laughs> for a little while. Another little male. Try to slip him in. Right there. Feels okay. Can put Tony in your boat. Got more for you. Need a hand? Thank you. You got it. I'm in, I'm in. Having fun? Yeah, Hell yeah. You guys doing good too? Oh, really? We, no, it was horrible. Really? Until the last hour and a half. Yeah. Then we just stroked them. Hell yeah. So here's what we got going on, guys. We got my man Jason Mitchell from from uh, Jason Mitchell Outdoors and uh, the best guide in Green Bay. We got Brett right there, my tournament partner. They're doing a little uh, in the boat here footage. And the nice thing is, all we're gonna charge is what? Three donuts and a couple of, uh, what, what do you need, Tony? Uh, a couple of bites. straight tackle back and forth. Right? Yes, here's the deal though, guys, check it out. Brett and them, so we're using these hair jigs. Brett and them are pounding them on the Northland hair jigs. So the key is you gotta have a stinger on it though, but come up here to Green Bay, get the Northland hair jigs, get the Mississippi hair jigs. That's the deal right there. All right guys, so we came out here to Green Bay today out of Ocanto actually, and water temps were 42 degrees. And you know what, everyone we talked to, the bite was really, really tough. We saw a lot of guys throwing ripping wraps and that can be the deal sometimes. Gotta have ripping wraps, gotta have everything. But if you come up here, make sure you bring hair jigs, sometimes even like a jig in a minnow under the really, really tough conditions. We're gonna be shooting some more videos up here in Sturgeon Bay, further up chasing big smallies coming up here soon. So hopefully you enjoyed this week's video. Have you ever fished a hair jig? Leave me a comment in the comment section. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Tony's got a long drive home. Tony's did a great job videoing, catching some fish. Nice job, Tony. Meet down, beat down, smack down, crack down. Nothing really, really huge, but you know what? We wanted to show you what to use when you come up here in tough conditions. GoPro's over? That means we're over. Time to go. See ya.